we're gonna talk about the one word theme for the year. Now, I love this as a way to think about making the next year happier, healthier, more productive, more creative. And Elizabeth and I have talked about this on, um, on the Happier with Gretchen Rubin podcast, and we've done it ourselves uh, for several years. And Elizabeth has had, I have to say, I think Elizabeth's a little more original in the words that she picks, like it's number six, that has all these meanings for her. She's had things like Hot Wheels, um, and mine tend to be more straightforward, like uh, um, one of mine was Delegate, uh, which was a really great word for me and actually um, still remains super important to me. Um, somebody just emailed me today saying that her word was organized and she said it's, inter it's, it's important that it's not organized, which is a verb, but organized, which is a state of being. So I think sometimes, you know, these little tweaks, little changes in meaning um, can be really, make it really exciting and really like very, very fitting. What I've noticed is a lot of times words that people pick, they'll pick opposite words. Like I could remember, I could imagine that somebody would pick, take the word fast or now um, or quick, um, because for them that's important. And I think one year I picked bigger and Elizabeth picked smaller. Um, and I've heard of people pick now and I've heard of people pick weight. Um, so, uh, the opposite of a profound truth is also true. And so a lot of times people might be drawn to opposite words. Now research shows, um, and ancient philosophers agree that really probably if you had to pick one thing that's the most important element to our happiness, it is relationships. And so anything that broadens your relationships or deepens your relationships is probably gonna make you happier. So that's a great idea. A lot of times words um, can have multiple meanings, whether to you or kind of like in the world. So this is a way of thinking of a word and how would it translate into different areas of your life. And I think that's really interesting when it has kind of this multi-layer of meaning. Why this is a helpful exercise. Having a one word phrase, a one word theme or a one phrase theme can help crystallize it and keep it uppermost in your mind. Because if every day you're thinking better not more and when you go to your, your laptop and the screensaver is better than not more and maybe that's your password um, or you know when you're locked out of your phone or something better not more, it helps crystallize that aim. Um, and that makes it easier to kind of see how it would uh, affect decisions that you might make um, as you're going through your life and thinking about different commitments and different relationships. Better not more, better not more. Should I buy this? Better not more. Um, it, it, I think that's, it, it, it just, it kind of cuts through the confusion and the muddle that we have in our heads.